Play ball. Opening day for the 2022 Major League Baseball season is on Thursday, and it all begins with the Yankees and the Red Sox. I don't think there's a better way to begin the baseball season than with the Yankees and the Red Sox, the biggest rivalry in baseball, maybe even in all the sports. And after a bit of worry and anxiousness and concern on whether or not the baseball season was going to happen, as the MLB did go on a lockout during the offseason, we're playing ball. So today I'm going to make my preseason predictions. I'm going to predict the division standings for every division. I'm going to give up my wild card teams, my World Series matchup, my preseason World Series champion pick. I'll even predict the MVP, Rookie of the Year, and the Cy Young. So I'm going to begin with I with what I believe is the toughest division in all of baseball, the American League East. And winning the American League East, I have the Tampa Bay Rays finishing second. Now, this is going to be a surprise to people, but the Toronto Blue Jays. More often than not, there is a team that flies under the radar and finds themselves in playoff contention. And I think this season, it's going to be the Toronto Blue Jays. I think this Blue Jays team is a very underrated team. They have been adding in some pieces throughout the last couple of years. And I think it's going to pay off this season. I think the Toronto Blue Jays finished second in the American League East. Finishing third, I had the New York Yankees. Fourth, the Boston Red Sox. And rounding out the American League East, the Baltimore Orioles. Moving on to the American League Central. Winning the American League Central, I have the Chicago White Sox. Second, I had the Cleveland Guardians. Third, I have the Kansas City Royals. Fourth, I have the Minnesota Twins. And rounding out the American League Central, I have the Detroit Tigers. Finishing off the American League with the American League West. Winning the American League West, I have the Houston Astros. And despite the Astros losing some big pieces the last couple of off seasons, I still think there's enough talent on this Astros roster to run away with this division. Second, I have the Seattle Mariners. I think that the Mariners, I think they I think they have a big response to the momentum that they had towards the end of the season, falling just short of a wild card spot. Third, I have the Los Angeles Angels. I think the Angels are going to be a pretty popular pick as far as a team that will have a wild card spot. Fourth, I have the Oakland A's. And running out the American League West, I have the Texas Rangers. And my wild card teams in the American League East, I have the Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. So for the second consecutive year, the two wild card teams will be coming out of the American League East for the American League. And I think that this American League East is going to come down to the wire once again this season, as last year it came down to literally the final day of the season. Moving on to the National League now. National League East is where I'm going to begin. Winning the National League East, I have the defending World Series champions, the Atlanta Braves. Although they did lose a big piece in Freddie Freeman, well, one of the pieces that they lost in this offseason. Second, I have the New York Mets. I think the Mets are going to have a pretty good season. I think the Mets are going to be right there with the Braves for the National League East. Third, I have the Philadelphia Phillies. Fourth, I have the Washington Nationals. And rounding out the National League East, I have the Miami Marlins. Moving on to the National League Central. Winning the National League Central, now this is going to be a big surprise. Although it probably, it might be, I don't know. But the St. Louis Cardinals... Second, I have the Milwaukee Brewers. Third, I have the Chicago Cubs. Fourth, I have the Cincinnati Reds. And rounding out the National League Central, I have the Pirates. The Pittsburgh Pirates, I should say. And concluding things for the National League West. Winning the National League West, I have the Los Angeles Dodgers. 
Second, I had the San Diego Padres. Third, I had the San Francisco Giants. Fourth, I had the Colorado Rockies. And fifth, I have the Arizona Diamondbacks. And my two wild card picks for the National League are the Mets and the Brewers. I think that the Padres and Giants, they're going to be pretty popular picks because that National League West, many believe that it is the toughest division in the entire league. It's one of the toughest, but I don't think it's the toughest. But I just think at the end of the day, the Giants, they haven't been consistently in playoff contention. They're in playoff contention for one season, and then they aren't for about the next two to three. And I think at the end of the day, I think Tatis Jr. is just going to end up missing too much time. And I think it's going to cost the Padres a lot of games that I don't think they're going to be able to make up. Anyway, my World Series prediction now. The matchup I have representing the American League, I have the Tampa Bay Rays. And representing the National League, I have the St. Louis Cardinals. So I have the Tampa Bay Rays and St. Louis Cardinals in the World Series. And I do want to point out that the Atlanta Braves were my preseason pick last year to win the World Series, and they ended up winning it. So I am hoping that I can go two in a row here. And my 2022 World Series champion prediction is the Tampa Bay Rays. I just feel like it's only a matter of time until the Tampa Bay Rays finally win a World Series. They have been close a couple of times in recent memory, but they just haven't been able to get the job done. In fact, the Rays, they actually kind of remind me of the Braves. Because before the Braves ended up winning it last year, a few seasons leading up to that, they found themselves in playoff contention, a team that had some potential, but they just couldn't finish the deal. Last year, the Braves finished the deal and won the World Series, and I think the Rays, I think they will do the same this year. They've been close, but yet so far away some a couple of times, and I think that they get the job done this year. So I want to move on to my picks for MVP and for the American League. I have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as my MVP pick for the American League. And for the National League, I think this is going to be a surprise. Pete Alonzo. And my pick for Rookie of the Year in the American League, I have Spencer Tolkerson. And for the National League, I think this is going to be a pretty popular pick, but Joey Bart for the National League Rookie of the Year. And for my Cy Young, in the American League, I have Lucas Giolito, and in the National League, I have Walker Bueller. So those are my preseason predictions for the 2022 Major League Baseball season. Comment your predictions down below, and as always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have a wonderful day.